Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. They say that he who last laughed was the guy who made a recent backup. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by... Amazon. Welcome to episode 23 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka twitter.com slash Pablo. Speaking of Twitter, you can follow the show on Twitter as well. The show is at Tech Shop. Today we're talking about backups. You don't realize just how important backups are until your hard drive crashes. When it does crash and you don't have a backup, that's when you start hyperventilating and you get cold sweats. And at this point, there may or may not be any way to recover your data, depending on how bad the failure is. There are tons of pay services for backing up your data online. In fact, the main software I'll be talking about today does offer a pay solution for backing up to the cloud. But I'll be showing you one way of building your own cloud without paying for it. Before we get too involved, though, let's break for the weekly news brief. This week's news brief is brought to you by Gamefly. Have games delivered right to your house with no late fees. Keep them as long as you want. Send them back when you're done. Visit deals.techchop.com and click on the Gamefly banner to sign up for your no-risk free trial. In an unusual turn of events, the Chinese company Shanghai Zinzin Network Technology, or SZNT, is suing Apple for copyright infringement over the iPhone Siri app. SZNT has a similar product called the Zhao iRobot, which the firm reports to have 100 million users in China. This is the second lawsuit against Apple to come out of China, where a company called Shenzhen ProView Technology sued Apple over the right to use the name iPad in China. Speaking of Apple, reports show that Apple's component suppliers in Asia are prepping for production of a new smaller tablet starting in September. The suppliers are saying that the screen will be smaller than 8 inches, leading the press to speculate that this move may be to compete with popular smaller e-reader tablets such as Google's Nexus 7 and Amazon's Kindle Fire, both of which are available at a fraction of the cost of an Apple iPad. MIT has announced its three-week course on how to build your own Doppler radar with coffee cans. The course is free and will be open as a part of MIT's open course software program. Finally, last year, apparently 1.3 million requests for cell phone data came from police. This number came from Massachusetts Representative Edward Markey, who received the data from nine different wireless carriers after he questioned them about their compliance with police requests for data. The reports show that many of the requests were in response to warrants, but still... Many of the requests were informal requests for law enforcement that said they needed the information for an emergency. News for the Weekly News Brief is taken right from our Tech Chop Daily Paper Lead page, available at news.techchop.com. Don't forget that you can sponsor your own news brief for only $10 by clicking the Donate button in the sidebar at techchop.com. Got something to say? We'll be your 30-second podium for only $10. Tech Chop! In the previous segment, we were talking about the importance of backups, and I mentioned pay cloud backup services. A couple of pay services I recommend, not just because they're current or were once sponsors, but because I have used them and they're very good services. One of them is Mosey, and the other is My PC Backup. I'm not sure if Mosey is still doing a free trial or not. But you can definitely try My PC Backup for free for 14 days by clicking on the banner at free.techshop.com. The main tool I want to talk about today, though, is called CrashPlan. It is bar none my favorite backup program. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So pretty much any platform you need to back up, you can do it with CrashPlan. As I mentioned earlier, you can pay for CrashPlan. They have versions for both home and office. Their Crash Plan Plus for home backup is as cheap as $3 per month for unlimited cloud storage. That's what I'm currently using at home. They also have an enterprise plan that costs about $25 per year per device. Of course, you do get a break if you pay for multiple years in advance. 
Another cool thing about CrashPlan is everything they back up is stored using 256-bit AES encryption and is deduplicated to save space. The best thing about CrashPlan isn't their pricing, their encryption, or their ability to dedupe though. CrashPlan's best feature is its ability to allow you to make your own cloud backup for you and your friends for free. Well, I should say that they don't charge you anything. You'll still need to pay for your own storage for the backups. And I'm going to tell you how to do it right after this. Need a new computer? Amazon has it. Need some toilet paper? Amazon has it. Want to read the latest best-selling book? Amazon has it. Amazon is literally your one-stop shop for everything you could possibly ever want online. They also resell items from some of your favorite online retailers like Tiger Direct. Except oftentimes with no taxes and cheaper shipping. Plus, if you sign up with Amazon Prime with a low cost of only $79 per year, you get free two-day shipping on millions of different items. Everything is delivered right to your door. No more driving to the store for your odds and ends, taking away from valuable Xbox time, shop in your underwear like you always wanted to do. Go to amazon.techchop.com. You'll get the same experience and prices, plus a small percentage of your purchase goes to help out Tech Chop. It's win-win for everybody. Visit amazon.techchop.com now and get your Amazon shop on. Bookmark amazon.techchop.com for all your future purchases and continue to help out the show. That's amazon.techchop.com. In the previous segment, I mentioned the awesome backup software crash plan and how its best feature is to allow you to create your own cloud backup service with your friends and family for free. Here's what you'll need. You and your friends will need a desktop computer. Mac, Windows, Linux, it doesn't matter. You'll each need to have enough storage to store the other person's data. And you'll need the free version of Crash Plan. For storage, I recommend getting a small NAS device with iSCSI support to store the backups. You can get this Netgear Ready NAS device for about $260 from Amazon, and it can hold up to three terabytes of data in a RAID 1 array, or six terabytes of data in a RAID 0. Of course, if you set it up in RAID 0, you don't get any redundancy. I prefer the RAID 1 setup so the data stored there can withstand at least one drive failure. If you want to go cheap, you could probably get away with setting this up on an external USB drive. Once you and your friend or family member have the necessary storage, you both need to download and install the free crash plan program. The download link on their site says free trial, but you can ignore it. The program is free forever as long as you're using your own storage. Once you have it installed and you've created your account, you'll see a line item near the bottom that says let your friends back up to you with this code. Give your friend your code and have your friend give you their code. Then at the top of the program you'll see an option to back up to a friend. Click that option and enter your friend's code. Voila! You are now backing up to your friend's computer. One more thing, these computers don't need to be on the same network either. You can back up to your friend over the internet. Hence, this is a cloud backup solution. Make sure that after your friend connects that you move their default storage location to your NAS or external hard drive. By default, CrashPlan wants to save inbound backups to the C drive. If you know your friend isn't going to use up all of your local storage, you can backup to your NAS as well. That way you have a local copy of your backup for faster recovery, as well as an off-site cloud backup on your friend's machine in case something tragic happens, like mm, your house burns down or something. You might be interested to know that this is pretty much how I do backups at work now too. I contacted CrashPlan and they said that you can use the free version to backup commercial data as long as you're using your own storage. We back up our main office to our co-location facility using CrashPlan, and then back up the CrashPlan storage to tape using NT Backup. For stuff like Microsoft SQL, we use scheduled SQL backups to disk, and then back that up with CrashPlan as well. It works flawlessly. That's pretty much it for this episode. What are you doing for home backups? Do you have a plan for getting your data off-site in case of a disaster? Let me know what you guys are doing in the comments or over on our Facebook page. Like, fave, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week right here on Tech Shop.